do a little research. It was a Friday night, I was in for the night, and I was like, let mama do some research. So I start typing in, and if you guys don't know what a reverse image search is, it's basically you put in a picture of someone, and it will spit out anywhere that that photo is used. So I decided instead of having to do all the dirty work of trying to locate him on, a, on any dating site, I just put in an image that he used for everything. He used it as his Facebook profile, he used it for his LinkedIn image, for his like uh, plenty of fish photo. I knew that this guy thought he looked slim and in this picture and so naturally if he's going to be on another dating site he's going to use the same photo. So I put that photo into a reverse Google image search just to check up on him, make sure everything's kosher, and lo and behold, a Plenty of Fish profile pops up. I'm like, hmm, peculiar. Now it's the same profile that he found me. He found me on Plenty of Fish. It's the same profile, has the same writing, but I noticed that he had added photos to his photo lineup. And I'm like, okay, so he's been on here since he's been with me. Interesting, but I don't think anything of it. Again, innocent until proven guilty. So I click on the profile and it says online now and I'm like online now why what what he's online now why is he online now he's dating me there why is he on online now so I freak out because that's my natural reaction when I find my boyfriend on a dating site he found me on and I was like oh hell no so I was going to message him but you cannot message unless you're logged in now mind you, I still was on Plenty of Fish as well because I didn't know that you had to like delete your account, but I hadn't been logged in since literally we went on our first date together. Like you can see the last time a person logged in. So I said if I log in to research his profile and message him, it's going to show that I was logged on recently and then he can accuse me of the same thing. So I was like, okay, I can't log in under myself, so what do you have to do? You have to create a fake profile. So, <laughs> I had to log on and create a fake profile. I know this is where I'm going to lose some people and they're going to be like, what a psycho. But no, I don't believe I'm a psycho. I believe if you're cheating, you deserve to get caught. And the only way I was going to catch him is if I could catch him in the act. I knew if I just accused him of logging in recently, he would have some kind of lame excuse why he was on there. And then he would try and just kind of brush things under the carpet. Nothing would get solved. So I logged in, and because I'm like literally running on adrenaline right now, I knew he was into blondes. I Google hot blonde model to grab some pictures, and I plug in this photo of a model. I message him like, hey baby, I think I've seen you around. It's like, want to grab drinks? And when I message him that, it shows that the message is read. So, and it also shows that he's online now. So now I have confirmation that he's online right now, like on, in New York at that moment, he was on the other side. And the thing is, you guys, like we just got off, off a phone call with him saying that like he really cares about me, he can't wait to get together. His trip to Vegas was the following week and he was supposed to be visiting me. In fact, on this phone conversation, he even mentioned one of his partners that he was going to be flying there with was sick and he might have an extra ticket. Would I like to meet him in Vegas? Um, for free, he would just give me his partner's ticket and we can go to Vegas together. So I said, you know, I don't have a ton of spending money. He's like, baby, I got your ticket. Like, I'll, you know, pay for you to come. He's like, I'll let you know in a couple of days if my partner can't make it. So he had dropped this bomb on me that like maybe possibly we could be going to Vegas together. And that's where the story takes off. So I message him and I see that he reads the message and I was just like, why isn't he responding back? If he's online now, he's online now looking for other girls. Like, I don't get it. So I mentioned the situation to my friend and she's like, Rachel, you're such an idiot. I'm like, why? She's like, you used a photo of a celebrity. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, that photo used of the hot blonde model that you Googled is Hayden Patonaire. Now, mind you, I don't know what Hayden Patonaire really looks like. I've seen her in a couple of shows, but it was a, she must have been super thin. It was like a modeling shoot. She was in a bathing suit. She just looked like a hot blonde model. I didn't know it was a celebrity. So he's like, of course he's not going to write back. This looks like a fake photo. You only have one picture. 
you have like this bogus information. She's like, you got to get a little bit better of a photo and a profile in order for him to respond back. Like, you know, he's on there. He's obviously not on there for his health. <laughs> he's not researching for other people. He's on there because he's looking for other girls. So I delete that profile. And I was like, I have to wait another couple days. He's probably on his guard now that this person messaged him. He might think it's a catfish or whatever. So I lay low for two days and then I get on and I create a new profile. And this time it was good. Like I created a thorough like content in there. I did my due diligence. Like I put in this, this bombshell of a model. She had long dark hair. She was like 5'7" blue eyes and said she was a model. Now, if this guy can fall for anybody, he likes models. That's kind of like his trigger word. So I put that she was a model and I message him and I say, hey, like, I just got in from a photo shoot. How's your day going? And he's like, hey, and he responds back like immediately. Like he did not even wait. Like he didn't even wait a minute. He responds back like immediately. And my heart, you guys, I, cause I don't like being deceitful. And part of me like didn't want to catch him. I don't want to catch my boyfriend on a dating site. You think that makes me feel good? No, I felt horrible. So, you know, part of me didn't want him to respond. I wanted this to all go away. I wanted to, him to prove me wrong, but he didn't. Because I knew exactly when I saw him online now, I knew exactly what he was up to. I just needed hard proof before I accused him. I wasn't gonna accuse him because I figured like if I just accused him of it saying online now and not actually messaging him and having dialogue with him, I knew he would come up with like an excuse about why it said he was online now. He could have said the app was running in the background, um, he never deleted the app, you know, a friend was on it. I knew that like if unless I could prove that it was him, you know, messaging someone that he would dispute um, me accusing him of cheating. So I message him, he responds back immediately and my heart is pounding. Like I think I was running on pure adrenaline at that point. Like I was, I had cold sweats. <laughs> I legit had cold sweats. So. I message him and I say I just get in from a shoot and he was just like oh it sounds like a long day and he's like you know I actually own a bra company and I work with models all the time if you ever want to shoot on my penthouse balcony I would love to have you up here meanwhile he told me he just did one one photo shoot for his bra company that he was launching so now he says he does shoots all the time so he's either blowing smoke up my ass and lying or he's blowing smoke up hers and just making him seem himself seem puffed up like he's like the man and you know he's always having models come over to his penthouse so i'm like huh so i continue on with the conversation because things are heating up he's like what are you up to this weekend i'm like oh i have another photo shoot he's like oh i'm actually getting ready to go to vegas in a couple of days i would love for you to come with me are you busy this weekend and i was like now mind you he just invited me to vegas and he told me he would let me know because his partner was sick and he wasn't sure he was going to be able to come. So I'm like, now he's just waiting to see if he doesn't have any better plans. Cause if he can get this model and fly her in for free, obviously I was going to be out of a ticket. So I'm like, Whoo! I just had to calm myself down. I was like, okay. So that just took a turn. He starts telling her that he would like her to come to Vegas with him. And she was like, oh, I don't really know you yet. Like, you know, um, maybe eventually we can take a trip together. That sounds so fun. You must be a baller. The fact that like you get to go to Vegas and he's like, yeah, I own, you know, I'm an entrepreneur of many successful companies, which is like such a lie. I don't even know what this guy does for a living. Like he says he's an entrepreneur. One of those guys that tries to make himself seem like something completely different than he was. So, you know, he's lying to this girl, making himself seem like a baller. And I'm just laughing. Like, I'm just seeing how far the conversation's gonna go because I was, I was set on burying him at this point. So then he starts saying like, oh, I could really use a partner in crime. Now he used to call me his partner in crime. In fact, he signed my Valentine's Day card, your partner in crime, in his name. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. So he met this girl five minutes ago and he's already calling her his partner in crime. He could use a partner in crime in Vegas is, I believe, quote unquote. So I'm like, oh yeah, like maybe when you get back from Vegas and he's like, no, like I don't want to wait until I get back from Vegas to meet you. You seem so nice. And I was, he's like, what are you, what are you up to in the next couple of days? I, I don't leave until this weekend. She's like, oh, you know, 
I'm saying her, it's really me. And, she, and I said, oh, I'm not really sure what I'm up to. Like, I guess I could make myself available. What did you have in mind? And he's like, oh, you know, let's meet for drinks. What are you doing tonight? And I was like, oh, I definitely, like, I'm available tonight. I was like, how am I gonna, do I just accuse him right now? Like, hey, it's Rachel. How do you exactly, <laughs> how do you exactly end this conversation? Well, you don't. But I was just like, you know, um, yeah, I can definitely meet tonight. And he, I mean, he goes, should we exchange numbers? I'm like, yeah, definitely. I was like, text me your number and I'll store you. So he goes, so he texts the number and he goes, what's your number? And I wrote my number. I messaged him my actual real number. So I can just imagine, because he probably didn't have my number like memorized by heart. He went to go store my number and it came up as Rachel and he was probably like, like hoping like the number that this person wrote and like my number was like a digit off. I could just see him like staring at the screen like, no! Oh guys, I wish I could have been a fly on the wall. I start getting immediate phone calls. It's him, he's ringing my phone, he's ringing my phone and I'm just like end, end call, end call. I was so hurt because I'm like here I am down and out about my job prospects, like I'm trying to, you know, have a fresh start here in LA, and this guy knows what I'm going through and is gonna go out and cheat on me while he's in New York and I'm in LA when you talk me into staying with you. I kind of catfished him in a way, which is actually vindication for every time I've ever been catfished in my life. And I know there's gonna be some people in the comments that like, you're crazy, I can't believe you, that's entrapment. This is kind of my analogy with the whole entrapment thing because I could see people misconstruing what happened as like, oh, you trapped him. No, I didn't trap him. If there is like, let's just say an arsonist that sets fire to a house, right? Their intention is to burn that house to the ground, okay? For money or for whatever purposes. So an arsonist sets fire to a house, right? And I'm a neighbor and I see the smoke and I call 911. The fire department gets there and puts the fire out before the house burns to the ground, right? That person is still guilty of arson. Like just because I found out that he was cheating and saved myself from his philandering ways doesn't make me wrong. It just makes me smart. So, I mean, he was still guilty of cheating, whether I caught him or not is kind of the analogy here. He was gonna cheat, I just wound up seeing the smoke and wound up getting out of the house before it burned down. That's pretty much like how it ended. So he kept calling me and he's like, oh my God, babe, I'm so sorry you catfished me. Like, I feel so horrible. I pick up your phone, I need to explain to you. I'm never on there. This was the one time I wrote back to someone that may be the case, I really think not, but I know he was super embarrassed because he really, I don't know if he was in love with me or falling in love with me, or maybe he was just full of <laughs> the entire time. You know, I, did he ever have sex with anybody? I don't know, I don't care at this point, but like the fact that he was on a dating site looking for other women, I know how that goes, you know what I mean? He wasn't on there looking for someone to come over and play Monopoly. He was obviously on there because he was looking to hook up with girls or take girls out or see if he could find anyone better than me. Anyway, um, this is kind of a story that needed to be told because I know there's a lot of people that get catfished all the time and this is actually the one time I feel like a catfish is actually vindicated because if you're cheating, you deserve to be caught. There's all different reasons why people cheat I mean, we're not married, we don't have any kids, we don't have any property together. There's no reason why you can't break up with a person if you're feeling either disinterested, just not feeling it anymore. And here I am being the bigger person saying like, hey, let's just call this off so we can kind of do our own things on, on our separate coast. And you talk me into it and then two and a half months later I find out that you're trying to take girls to Vegas with you and trying to like take girls out to dinner while I'm here like being loyal. I don't think so. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that story time. I have other stories. I don't know if you guys like this content. A lot of people say that you like actually joined my channel initially because of my Tinder dating story. So hopefully this is for you guys. Um, current situation is I'm not seeing anybody. Um, I have been on a couple dates with someone that 
um, I'm interested in. We'll see how that pans out. But uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, leave me comments on like your thoughts on the situation. I love you guys so much. Have a great weekend. I'll see you in the next video.